Hey, hey folks, welcome back. Sorry about my voice, just getting over a cold a little bit here. But in this video, we're gonna be building an LLM agent to come up with hopefully better YouTube video titles than I could even come up with myself. So if you're not aware, making a YouTube video has a bunch of steps, which end with creating a good thumbnail and a good title. It might seem like this is the easiest step. Hey, just put together some kind of catchy thumbnail, put together some kind of cool title and post that, it'll be fine. But trust me, it takes creators way more time than you might think to come up with these two things. Because hey, if you think about it, at the end of the day, the title and the thumbnail are all that you, the viewer, have when you're deciding whether or not you're gonna click on the video. And that has huge implications for the creator. In a past video, we actually explored one way to approach this topic by using a Bayesian statistics technique called Thompson sampling. All of the relevant links in the description below, by the way which was going to dynamically change the video title after the video launches based on which title options seem to be getting the most views. My big takeaway from that experiment, folks, was the algorithm will punish you for continuously changing your title and thumbnail way too much, which my suspicion is, ironically, why that video got so few views. So based on that video, it's clear to me that we want a really good title, ideally just out the gate, on the first go. So let's see if we can build an LLM agent, which is going to use the last 20 videos on this channel including all their engagement stats. We got views, likes, dislikes, comments, stuff like that, to come up with a great one-shot out-of-the-gate title for a new video idea and then automatically set that as the title for the video in question. The agent architecture is gonna work in these four basic steps. First, the agent is going to need to call the YouTube API to get this engagement information about the last 20 videos on the channel so that it can learn from the good ones and ignore the bad ones. In the next step, the human, which is us, is going to describe what the upcoming video is all about. We're gonna be using the Flask web app framework in Python to gather this input. Then in the third step, the agent is going to use the prompt, which is at its core, in order to come up with a great video title and its reasoning for why it thinks so, based on what it learned from the last 20 videos and their engagement on this channel. And finally, in the fourth step, it's going to again use the YouTube API to set that hopefully amazing video title on that video. So let's give it a go. Instead of using this for an upcoming video, let's use it for a few videos on this channel in recent history that didn't do as well as I'd have wanted. First, we'll try to improve the title for this video on how the math behind bending genetics works in Avatar The Last Airbender. We explain what the video is all about and we see the recommended title from the agent. And immediately if we go back to the video and refresh, we see that this title has been set on the video, all automatically, all done by the agent. Let's just try it again with this poorly performing video on why the S&P 500 isn't as diverse as you might think. We feed in information about what that video is all about, we see the better title output, go to that page, refresh it, and we see that has been set as well automatically by the agent. So you can see from this very basic architecture, it fits all the requirements you would expect from an LLM agent. It is observing something about its environment. In this case, that environment is the state of the videos, all the engagement statistics of the last 20 videos on this channel. It is using that information from its environment, grabbing the description of the upcoming video from the user, and then it's automatically coming up with a better video title as well as the reasoning for why it thinks so. And then it's also able to make changes to its environment. In this case, that's step four, where it's taking that better title and applying it onto the YouTube video, thereby impacting and affecting its environment in the process. So that's about it, folks. Just a really short video. Just wanted to kind of show this off. I learned a lot through this process, building my first AI agent to do something that actually matters near and dear to my heart. I'm going to, of course, make this code available to you so you can learn for yourself how to create a very basic AI agent that interacts with YouTube videos and the YouTube ecosystem in this way. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see all you wonderful people next time.